Hello, welcome to exercise three. Uh, here we're going to write a program to have the user type in a lowercase character and we'll, we will then convert it to uppercase. So we'll output something to the screen that says type in any lowercase letter. Uh, and then in order to actually do the conversion, if you remember, we uh, talked briefly about this chart here and notice that the difference between, for instance, a capital C and a lowercase c is a difference of 32. So if you take the lowercase value and subtract 32, you will always get the uppercase value. As long as you start with lowercase and do the subtraction, you'll get to uppercase. So here we're going to subtract 32 to the lowercase character. That'll change it into uppercase, and then we'll output the following pair of statements. You typed in the letter and print the original letter, and then the uppercase version is, and then we'll print that out as well. So let me clear the console out here. You notice we have our Java IO exception throws statement that's for keyboard input uh, using the system.in command. And then we'll have two different characters that I'm going to create. One's going to be called lowercase, one's going to be called uppercase. And then I'm going to print to the screen, type in any lowercase letter, and then I'm going to read that letter by using system.in.read, converting to character and storing it in the lowercase uh, variable. Then we're going to print to the screen, you typed in the letter, and then we're going to print that lowercase value that they just typed in. Okay, then we need to convert it to uppercase. So the uppercase variable, this is interesting, you have to watch this. What we're going to do is take the lowercase variable that we had and sub subtract 32 from it. If you remember, you can do arithmetic with character variables because really a character variable is kind of like an integer in disguise. It's really an integer in there, but whenever we're doing comparisons in Java, it's treating it as, as the character representation. So what we're going to do is take that lowercase value, we're going to subtract 32 from it, right? But since we're doing a subtraction, Java is going to do the subtraction as an integer. And so we need to then take this result, wrap it in parentheses, and convert it back to a character and uh, store it in the uppercase place. Um, so then we have an uppercase value. The uppercase version is, and then we'll print that out. So let me run it, and then we'll talk about it a little bit further. Type in any lowercase letter. So we'll put a lowercase t and hit enter. You typed in the letter lowercase t. The uppercase version is capital T. So if we go and do this, if we say lowercase h, we have the lowercase and the uppercase version. You can kind of see the, the idea here. We'll just put anything in here, lowercase q. So we're always converting to uppercase because in the ASCII uh, paradigm in the definition of the codes that come from the keyboard they always differ by a value of 32. Now in order to close this out it's pretty straightforward you read the lowercase you subtract 32 and then you print the uppercase it's pretty straightforward but the only gotcha here is this subtraction here um, you might be tempted uh, at first just to do lowercase minus 32 so let me go ahead and save this guy and try to run it and you'll see that it says there's an error and it's underlined here so if this is what you did first without knowing that you needed to uh, recast it as a character just hover over it and you will see type mismatch cannot convert from integer to character that's a big clue for you because even as a new programmer when you see something that's not being able to convert then you know that there's something going on with integer versus character or whatever Java is a little confused Whenever you do the subtraction, this is, see, this is a character. It's defined as a character. When I subtract 32, then even though this is a character, Java sort of temporarily converts this to integer to do the subtraction. So now I have an integer on the right-hand side. I'm trying to store it into a character, and Java's not going to do that without you explicitly telling it, hey, take the result, and I want to wrap it in parentheses just to be sure that it knows the entire result of the subtraction is an integer because of the arithmetic going on is always done in terms of integers like that and I'm going to convert the result back to a character. So some of this stuff you may not know ahead of time, you may not know that you need this ahead of time, but certainly when you start getting the under the red underlines and the errors, you might at that point clue in that that's what you need to do. But in any case, whatever lowercase that you type in, like lowercase p, you're going to get an uppercase p as a result.